Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm your girl Hagar Tarot Shea. Thank y'all all for joining me and being here. Please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't to the channel. So you guys, it is like two o'clock in the morning, right? And I cannot sleep. <laughs> so usually when I can't sleep, spirit is that spirit. Let me know that I need to go and do a reading. Book, uh, not book a reading. I need to do a reading for y'all. So there is an energy and I'm getting this message but there is an energy that you're some of you are very clueless about where you and somebody stand okay i don't know why i'm picking this up but somebody here could be late night thinking about you wondering how you're doing okay wondering how you're feeling i'm getting a sense that somebody is watching you but they're not saying something either y'all are friends on social media or you're not friends but especially if you got your if you got your account public Okay, how you know this is for you is because if you got your account public, there is an energy that's watching you, okay? Um, I, I heard third party that's watching you, but there is somebody here who is watching you because they're trying to figure out, they're trying to put two and two together. Either A, somebody is watching you to try to see what your next move is going to be, or if you're going to expose them to put them out, or somebody is watching you because they're trying to see if you're going to move on, if you're going to post somebody else. They just kind of like, just... They, they they watch you or maybe somebody feels like they don't because maybe you unfriended them somebody here don't know that you that you see with everything that they're doing I, i'm hearing that somebody yeah somebody's missing you look and the third party is trying to compete as i split the deck so some of you there is a third party who knows your person could be missing you and they watching you it's like they're trying to compete they're trying to post stuff they're trying to do certain stuff to possibly you know See if you're going to say anything or if you're going to put a post about them, a post of, yeah, about them up. I don't know, but I'm getting a sense that you may got more than one person watching you. Okay. So somebody here is just waiting on your next move. Okay. So let's see. Spirit, angels, ancestors, holy divine, please protect me as I get these messages out for the collective's highest good. Please give them some more clarity on who's watching but not saying anything. Who's watching the collective but not saying anything? Somebody here does not know that you are watching. Like, somebody here knows, doesn't know that you know that they're watching you. That's what I keep hearing. Somebody doesn't know. They think that they're probably doing something like, you know, that you don't notice, but they, they know you got, they they watching it. So they're paying close attention. Bottom of the deck says, got info about you got info about you saved in a note see somebody's keeping tabs on you and they're they're like okay she posted at 12 52 on thursday he posted at 6 52 some of you a, a karmic is trying to put two and two together because they want to know your person's whereabouts or what your person got going on yeah so i don't know let's see let's see this energy so i pulled five cards and we're gonna get to the bottom of it all right always bringing you up see there is somebody here who's constantly bringing you up trying to see what you got going some of you this could be a third party so i don't know let's see let's see what this energy is spirit help please help me um give the collective the clarity that they're seeking at this time who is this that's always bringing the collective up who is this energy that is always bringing the collective up show the collective what they need to know in here at this time It says, always bringing the collective up. Who is this? So we got home. I'm getting a sense that somebody here is want to be all in your business and y'all just at home rubbing your feet together, enjoying life, okay? You are like, you're showing to be in the comfort of your home, happy, okay? Spirit, so that's the truth. Why, who is this that's always bringing up the collective? This, so this is telling me that this is a connection that your person left you for. Now, there's somebody here who could be jealous of you. They look at you as a better option, but they'll never admit it. Okay? There's somebody here who will never admit it. Some of you, this person want to know maybe where you live at. So, they always bring you up, trying to figure your whereabouts, where you belong. Okay? Some of you, somebody may want to know, like, your city or where you're from. They're trying to get information on you because there's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. Somebody here wants to know if you and your person have seen each other or met up 444 because all they're getting is, like hurting energy from your person your person could be like ghosting them or or you know putting them rejecting them 
okay some of you this is your person who's watching you trying to figure out what you got going on yeah this about here could be a toxic love connection that's going on i don't know let's see so help me clarify these messages for the collective's highest good because I'm, I'm seeing i'm seeing something is not sitting right with somebody about you so why and who is this that's always breaking the collective up we got we got home comfort safety belonging shelter and then we got grass is greener jealousy better option unhappy deserve better always bringing the collective up it's a feminine energy it could be a um a fire sign i wanted to say virgo i don't know why i wanted to say virgo but i know virgo is an earth sign so some of you this could be a, a earth sign or a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or a earth sign could be a libra virgo taurus capricorn sagittarius energy yeah somebody here trying to see like why you at so peace why you not acting out maybe in the past you and this person like maybe there were signs that the karmic had that you and your person were into it but see you're not posting that you're showing to be like this happy energy and they could be thinking that your person has something to do with your happiness so who is this queen of wands that's always bringing up the collective spirit the emperor in reverse this is somebody here who wants to control your person i'm hearing yeah lack of discipline they could be stubborn they could be reckless so whoever this is could be very a reckless individual because they see that i'm telling you because your person is coming off as a player and your person could be getting ready to end a connection with them and they know this a karmic knows your person is done always the emperor in reverse could be an aries always bringing the collective up why the lovers in reverse. I'm telling you, this is a third party, Sagittarius, Gemini energy, because your person is detaching from this connection. Your person is tired of suffering. Your person is not committing. And they're like, okay, some of you, they think that your person get ready to move in with you. So it's kind of like, they, they're like, so you think you're going to be, it's going to be better with her. You think it's going to be better with him. Like they got an attitude I'm picking up. They want to control your person, but I feel like it's not happening. Your person could be being like very strong and setting their boundaries, but a third party is not happening, is not allowing it. They know you are the grass. Okay, let me tell y'all. So for one, the grass is where you water it. Okay, the grass gets greener when you water it. So just like I tell people, someone who wants to do right is going to do right. And they're going to step up and they're going to do, you don't have to go through any cycles. Now, sometimes, yes. Ain't nobody perfect. We go through cycles in life, and sometimes it takes for somebody to either lose you or to be without you or to be in another situation to know, like, look, this ain't it. And I feel like this is what your person is. That's why a karmic is bringing you up because they know your person is falling out of love with them. They're falling out of love with them or they're, they're not in love with them or they're not getting anything. This is a suffering and balanced connection that is not happening. And no matter how they try to paint the picture on the outside, to prove a point that, oh, he over here with me or she over here with me, it's, it's at the end of the day, they're still not getting no satisfaction out of your person. They're not getting no act right. There's a lot of conflict. Okay, and we're going to see why your person ain't in the spirit. So that's the truth. That is the truth. So this karmic, I feel like they're always bringing you up collective, because, or this feminine energy, whatever you want to call it, is always bringing you up because they're not getting what they thought they are going to get. You know, maybe a person promising, baby, I'm going to do right by you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But when you, they finally settled for your person and got with them, they're realizing they're not getting that. Some of you, they're realizing that your person hasn't left you alone. And that is enough to drive them over the edge. But this karmic deep down inside knows that you are, that they feel like your person is going to make a home with you and provide for you because they're not seeing that side. They're like, well, you know, they're not, they're not, the karmic is not, third party is not seeing a third party knows your person isn't leaving you alone for whatever reason. Why is the lovers in reverse for this feminine energy that's always bringing the collective up? The lovers in reverse. Yes. I'm telling you. And there's so many fights over there. Okay. Your person it could be a um, Gemini, Leo. They have Sagittarius. It is a burden over there. It is a burden over there. And I feel like for some of you, your person could also still be cheating on this karmic. But the karmic wants to be wants to blame you. They watching you. They blaming you because they see you at peace. I'm, I keep hearing that. You are, you are showing to be at peace, collective. 
And you ain't got to fake it. You ain't got to put on a front. You really are at peace. And this person could be also playing like doing the guilt trip on your person, making them feel bad. Baby, don't go. I'll do this. I'll do better. I'll stop bringing her up, bringing him up. But 1010 just showed me. But regardless, there's going to be an ending. Because this conflict is going to be a person is tired of the same old, same old, you know? So, so let's move forward. It says, don't take their silence as they're done. They're not over you. So this person, like I said, they're not over you, collective. The person, they could be silent and watching you, but they're not over you. Right now, they may be just, you know, obviously they're over there fighting and arguing with a third party. And it's a lot of tension right now. It's a lot of conflict, disagreements. They constantly fight, constantly on some rah-rah bullshit. So let's see what this is about. It says, don't take their silence as they're done collective. They're not over the collective. Yeah, somebody here still got deep feelings for you. This man here wants to be affectionate towards you. They're missing you. Some of you could be getting signs about this person. 11-11, yeah, there will be a reconciliation after they surrender and let go of another situation. One more. Don't take their silence as they're done collective. They're not over you. I'm telling you, this is player, player, player. They're not over you. And like I said, right now, things could be confusing. You feel like, you know, there could be an illusion, but they're not over you. This is my hero who still got strong emotions for you, and they want to take action towards you. Right now, they could be being tested by a karmic or spirit is testing them. The universe is testing them with a move that they're going to make. The spirit will maybe, you know, tell them what you're going to do. <laughs> okay, because uh, you're about, you about to lose something good. It says, don't take their silence as they're done. They're not over the collective. This player who has romantic feelings. Who is this player that got romantic feelings for the collective? Someone you walked away from, Eight of Cups, 12-11, 12-12. You were very disappointed in this person and you withdrew. Okay? You had no choice but to walk away. Don't take their silence as they're done. They're not over the collective. It could be a Pisces. Yeah, see? But some of you, like I said, they're not talking to you right now because there is a third-party situation that they took a leap of faith towards. Clarify this three of cups in reverse. Don't take this, don't take this player's silence as they're done. They're not over you. Three of cups in reverse. Yeah, they are they're looking at another connection from another perspective. They are getting deep insight. Some of you, they're making some type of change. Three of Cups in reverse. What are they? What is the collective's? Um, what is this player's energy? The collective's person. What are they finding out the truth about a third party? What are they finding out about a third party with this hangman energy? That spirit said they just finding out the truth. That this is a whole burden. What truth are they finding out about a, a third party spirit? Some of you, the truth is that they just like the sex. And I know that may be triggering for somebody because you obviously you don't want to think about your person sleeping around. But Spirit said the truth is it's just about the sex. That's it. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Yeah, and Spirit said, look, I told you, it ain't nothing more, nothing less than the sex. That's it, you guys. Ace of Wands is my sex card. When they want it, they can get it. But it is no, it is no love. It is no, it's going to be a sudden change. Your person's tired of that. Yeah, they're about to close the cycle and leave that baggage behind. Because some of you, when they sleep with this karma, this karma, uh, it, it unlocks a more crazy. And the more that they, your, the, your person realizes, the more that they give into this person and settle for this, when they know they're down inside, they're not going to commit. They know they're not going to be loyal to this third party. Yeah, like, why am I doing this? Yeah, it is a toxic bond. They connect. This is a toxic love connection. And your person could fairly well be um they could fairly well be codependent over this third party but it's toxic it's a lot of destructive behavior a lot of sneaky games both of them could be cheating on each other messing around i heard somebody catching something so it's a lot of mess over there why is the tower coming why is our ending being placed with this third party energy the tower yeah because it's, it's not going to change they're holding on to something that's not going to change we got decay. So it's going to eventually decay. It's going to eventually come to an end. Mm -hmm. 
And your person is, is refusing to change for this third party. Why is a collector's person, this player, refusing to change for the third party with the death card in reverse? Why don't they want to change for this karmic third party energy? Because they got plans to go elsewhere. It could be Aries, Scorpio energy. They got plans to go somewhere else. Mm. They just they're blocking off their guard. They're not they're not wanting this. Okay, so let's move forward. Needing your forgiveness. So your person gonna be asking you, collective, can you forgive me for all the wrong that I've done, the choices that I've made, the bullshit that I put you through? I'm hearing for ghosting you, for betraying you, for not telling you the truth, for hanging on to pointless relationships or connections that don't mean shit to me. Yes, but so that's the truth. Some of you will get this person's truth. You will hear from their own mouth why they made a decision. Regardless if you decide to take them back, if you choose to hear them out, they will tell you the truth. Why does this person feel like they need the collector's forgiveness? Somebody here was scared in the past. They had like... Um, some of you, they're scared that you won't forgive them and they have like this uneasy feeling when it comes towards you. So it's like they want to heal things and make amends with you. But for some of you, they know like you're smarter than that and they know like they got to let go of something else if they want a successful reconciliation with you. Needing the collector's forgiveness. Needing the collector's forgiveness. Yeah. So this is somebody here who, who, and it's a crossroads with a third party. They're going to tell you this is it's a turning point that's happening with a third party. Because they're finally seeing that y'all two are meant to be. And you're the one that they want to give a love offer to. You're the one. This is my here who had multiple options, but they got a choice to make. Some of you, they're afraid that you won't forgive them because they did not make the right choice. It's kind of like the lover's card because it talks about a choice. And they didn't pick the right door. They didn't pick the right door to walk down. Some of you, they allowed this third party to get a big head, making this third party think that it was meant to be. and could have gave them an offer, engagement or something, thinking that it was going to get good or be better or whatever. And it only became a toxic attachment. This person only ended up being a snake. They snaked your person. Yep. They sold your person a dream. It was an illusion. So why does the collective's... Why does this? Why does the collector's person feel like they need the collector's forgiveness? Justice in reverse. Some of you because they feel like they need your forgiveness because they didn't. They feel guilty. Somebody here feels guilty. It could be a Libra. They feel like they're being punished right now. So it's like life is like it's like if you can picture somebody's face and it's like somebody slapping their face back and forth. That's what this. That's what life in the universe is doing to this person. Every which way they turn around, just something just like. They're, they're having a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and I feel like it could be air sign, clear, shit, my labor. They want to talk to you. This somebody here who was dishonest. They were unfair. They didn't show any accountability. Now, yeah, it could definitely be a Libra who wants your forgiveness. Air sign, clear, shit, my labor. Yeah, they want to come into harmony with you. Clarify justice in reverse for needing the collective's forgiveness. Justice in reverse. Yeah, because they know they hurt you. This has been, this betrayal was not no other. Could be a Gemini. This somebody here who knows that they lost something good and they are deeply wounded and deeply hurt. Needing the collective's forgiveness. Mm -hmm, for being sneaky. Heavy air energy, whoever this is. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is somebody here who betrayed you. They were deceptive because they only thought about themselves. They wanted their wishes to be, they thought maybe I was going to get my wishes fulfilled. But karma does come back around, and their their karma is getting that ass. Justice, needing the collective's forgiveness. Justice. Give me one more. Yeah, somebody here is also about to watch you have your your wishes fulfilled, and and live a luxurious life, and you are at a place of just being happy. Some of you they want to be like you. They're like, I don't want to. I don't. I know why I'm getting this karma because I fucked up collective, and I'm so sorry. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody here wants to apologize. And and it's genuine. For some of you, it is very, very genuine. This person took a leap of faith towards something else and got the shit end of the stick. Some of you they see you looking good and you you having your way. Some of you I got like this, um this this person gonna be reaching out to you soon. I got this a cold breeze. So I felt like 
somebody wants to come towards you and hug you and embrace you, your forgiveness, your love means a lot to this person. But they're about to go through a huge tower moment with a third party. And if they're quiet, it's because they're going through hell over there. Look at all this commotion, drama, just so much going on. Some of you think we're knocking at your door late at night. Like, can I crash on your couch? <laughs> That's what I heard. Can I crash on your couch? What else we got? Being hard, letting you go. So this person definitely feeling this let go energy. Some of you could be at a place maybe months ago. You was like, you kept taking this person back. But something here changed. Something here has changed your perspective over this person. It's been hard letting the collective go. It's been hard letting the collective go. Yeah. Somebody's heartbroken. This is my three of swords energy, so that's a lever for me. This is somebody here who could have betrayed you. They grieving over you. It's like they, they, they lost something good. And like I said, it's been hard letting you go. This is an ultimate heartbreak they're feeling. Because somebody here wishes that they... Some of you, they are seeing that they went and... and gave to another situation this person is a whole snake they really your person really been sleeping with the enemy your person this this karmic or third party we're going to call them only loves your person conditionally you didn't have to take nothing from your person you didn't have to be malicious and ruin your person's shit or do anything to make this person stay you simply allow them to go be where they wanted to be you say cool you want to go go i ain't gonna stop you but this person is disappointed because they chose somebody else over you. Ben Hart letting the collective go. Feeling this heartbreak, disappointment, grieving. And some of you, you're getting signs. If you feel these, if you feel these waves of like sadness and like that's your person. Because this person was in a was in a lustful energy. But like I said, they got they got snake. They they, they got charmed by a snake. They got charmed by a snake. This person, some of you person was maybe easily to manipulate. Maybe they thought this person had a little something or this person gave your person stuff here and there. And so your person betrayed you for a little bit of money, for a little bit of sex, for a little bit of whatever they could gain out of this individual. So they treated you bad, but now they feel in this heart, this heartbroken. Y'all are going to, I'm saying two, two, two. Y'all could be getting messages from the universe about your person. Been hard letting the collective go, feeling this heartbreak. Some of you are getting signs and synchronicities about you. Yeah, see? Because you're the empress. You're, you're, you, of course you make this person feel sad. They were even, even thankful to even have, thankful that you even took a chance on them. Especially, you know, the type of woman or man you are. Like you, this person could be, you could be definitely out of this person's league. This is who your mom and daddy told you not to deal with. People warned you about this person. Been hard letting the empress go. Yep. And all this person doing is watching you, keeping tabs on you, seeing what you got going on. They're very curious. I feel like some of you are trying to telepathically communicate with you. <clears throat> Why does this person want to know so bad what the collective got going on? Knight of Cups. Because somebody, they're disappointed in themselves. We got Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, <clears throat> Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is my hero who's very moody. They've been very, very moody. They've been imagining you doing other things with somebody else. And I feel like they could be a little bit jealous. Knight of Cups in reverse with the Page of Swords. Yeah, because I feel things have changed. Your will has changed. So if you were the one who was heartbroken and feeling sad and you just felt you couldn't get this person off your mind, now they're feeling it. But see, it's easy for them to not show up because they know they got uh, uh, somebody on their radar that's watching every little thing that they do. The Wheel of Fortune. Ben Hart letting the collective go. Wheel of Fortune. Yep. This person could be a Virgo. They're taking their time to sit back thinking and doing a lot of soul searching. They, some of you, they could be trying to find their independence, but they're really struggling right now. Juggling a lot. They got a lot of responsibilities on them. They're trying to you know, be self-sufficient, be financial independent. But some of you, they're, they're taking a major final uh, financial loss. So for some of you, that's why it's 
easier to be with this karmic because they can tell them whatever and this karmic will do whatever. But when it's, when your person don't do what this karmic tells them to do, then the karmic snatches it back. And then your person already know you're not going for certain stuff and you're not doing certain stuff. So it's, it could be a little bit easier for them to go and play that role and make this karmic feel good. Like, oh yeah, look, he coming home to me. Look, he here with me. But deep down inside, this karmic know what's going on. They ain't a fool. Yeah, street mentality. Yeah, so this person, some of you are dealing with somebody who has a street mentality. They, they, they grew up in the hood. You know, they are somebody who maybe just possibly sell drugs. There's somebody here who may have to get it out the mud. Okay, you don't live that total. You don't, I'm saying you live a total different lifestyle. You're not naive or blind to that type of lifestyle. You may have dated other guys like that or maybe your sisters or brothers dated guys like that or girls like that. But this person's in the street mentality. And they could be dealing with people who are just like them. Some of you, you were their outlet. You were their peace of mind. They didn't have to go stay at the trap house that night. They didn't have to go sleep on their homeboy couch with the four or five baby mamas who, who call constant drama, police kicking in and out the door. And yeah, you, were, you, you didn't give off that. Some of you with the street mentality, you love this person. I got the pink card. You still love this person, even though what they're doing. Some of you try to put them on the things that, look, why don't you take that money and flip it and start your business? You know, I see you like hats. I see you like shoes. Why don't we invest in some stuff? But this person had a street mentality. Street mentality. For the collective person, the street mentality. Yeah. So some of you, it's still unfinished business with this person. This person got a lot of patterns. It's a lot of back and forth. There is some baggage here. This is my six of swords energy, but in reverse. So there's unfinished business. Street mentality in reverse. I mean, street mentality, unfinished business. Yeah, some of you, there may be a chance that you and this person have a child together, or y'all may have already have a child together. But maybe you have told this, some of you have told this person, look, if you want to be out there in the streets, I'm not giving you a child or you cannot be around our child. Like, I don't want our child to be caught up in your bullshit that you're doing. Yeah. In divine timing, you had to let go of that. You had to choose your family or you had to be the one to break the generational curse. You know, maybe your mom and dad or your dad was that type of guy or, you know, and now your dad could be older or they're letting you know, like, hey, that's not good. You know, that's not good. You don't want to be burying him or her. You don't want to be, you know, got to put money on the call because they, you know, doing 30 years, you know. But I feel like you and this person are not done. They could definitely be watching you on social media. Street mentality, unfinished business. Yeah, some of you, they regret. Put, if your person's locked up and y'all have a child together, they regret putting the streets over you. Because y'all could have been a family. Your person could be missing out on your person, on your child growing up. Some of you, this person could have had a chance to be a family man or a family woman and do right by you. And I feel like they're in a lot of regret because they chose the streets over you. Why is this person so regretful? They owe you an apology. Yeah, because see, this person, they took a, li they took a risk towards something else. Uh, 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 they, they, they didn't want to grow up. You try to put this person on this stuff and and teach them things and be grown about shit but this person wanted to stay stuck in their ways so you let them now they regret making that choice yeah i can see somebody here they really want to be with you some of you there will be a reconciliation after this person goes through some type of spiritual awakening they got to learn some type of lesson and for some of you they gonna come in here asking you to be their wife or their husband like look i'm not playing around no more i'm done with that shit i'm coming in here i'm making it right Mm -hmm. somebody is missing you they want a second chance they want to be back with you so they some of you are taking a risk towards you they some of you are taking a risk also to let you know how they're feeling about you they're going to take a risk to tell you that they do feel guilt they know they made a mistake and they want to apologize to you street mentality unfinished business regret roll the dice family i'm telling you this person who's in the street mentality could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Leo. They are wanting to take a chance to tell you how much they love you. Even though they may be stuck in the streets or stuck in their ways, they still love the, love the fact that you look at them differently because you wanted success. They can brag on you when people are like, you got her, you got him, how did you get to collect him? They, they love that. 
Why is it unfinished business? Yeah, this might have got strong feelings for you. Could be a Leo. This person's true mentality. Reconciliation. Yeah, somebody here having sleep sleeping sign could be a Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. There's that regret again. Some of you, they, they regret not growing up fast enough or not giving to the way they should have. Because now some of you, you are checked out. You checked out and they, they trying their best to manifest you. Why is this person having sleepless nights about the collective? It could be a Libra. Because I feel like they're contemplating on how to come towards you. Some of you, they when they're with you, they can just rest. Some of you, you you see what type of life they live in, and your home is very comforting to this person because that's the first thing that came out. That's why somebody always. That's why this conference in the you was at her house. You've been at the collector's house because they know with them. I'm sorry. When they know the the karmic knows when your person's with you, they they come back all happy and giddy. And some of you don't even sleep with this person. But your person comes back refreshed and they're like, so what you been doing last night? Where was you at? You was at her house? You know, stuff like that. Or you was at his house? But some of you don't even, you know, some of you don't have to sleep with this person. It's just your person feels calm. You have this healing energy. Yeah, see, I'm telling you right now, they're sucking something so toxic. They don't know what to do. So that's what I have for you, Collective. I'm going to end the video right there. I'm getting kind of tired, <laughs> but I had to get this video out. Somebody here needed to hear this, and this is what it is. I love y'all, and take care of yourself, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.